Hey, what's up? This is Mr. Apolito. Let's go ahead and crush this 5-1 Mastery Challenge. Now, for every Mastery Challenge, you should always look at the prompt. You click right here. That's going to take us here. Uh, always look at the prompt because whenever you're writing, you should always respond to the prompt, answer the question. Explain the reasons for the waves of immigration from Germany and Ireland into the United States in the mid-1800s. So you need to know, and you're going to need to write down, what were the push-pull factors for German immigrants? What were the push-pull factors for Irish immigrants? So include a discussion of the push-pull factors for each of these immigrant groups and the challenges they faced upon arrival to the United States, right? So the first thing, if we're just going through the must-do activities, the first thing we did in class was a paired deck. That was uh, the first thing that we, that we tackled. And so we looked at immigration and uh, we were talking about what, you know, what do you think are some of the push-pull factors take an educated guess? We watched this video. Uh, this is a woman who works at a museum in Germany. Uh, and then we talked about the push-pull factors. You're gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what they are, but you'll go ahead and watch that. <clears throat> and then we talked uh, about the History Channel. Watch this, the love-hate relationship that America has with the Irish. At one time, very, very much uh, Americans hated Irish immigrants. Now, America loves Irish immigrants. How were these prejudices overcome? Uh, this is a video specifically on nativism and the movement of nativism, and that's one of your vocab terms. Uh, and then we kind of talked about the way that we treat immigrants in our country. So that was that pair deck right there. That's the first source. Those are each of the three videos right there. Make sure that you watch each of those three videos. Watch them carefully. Uh, the, we then did a uh, handout called Immigration and Bias, where we examined the political cartoons. You can go ahead and open that up. Uh, and the anti-immigration political cartoons are right here in this Google site. And so you open this up and you'll see all of those cartoons and so it's, it's gonna ask you to take a look at each one of these and try to figure out what is the cartoon saying. Uh, and these are all examples of the anti-immigration bias, the anti-immigrant bias, and the anti-Catholic bias that they had, that the media had during the 1830s, 1840s, 1850s. And if you're like, Mr. Polito, how do I even interpret these political cartoons? Well, there's a video right here where for 13 minutes I talk about anti-immigration cartoons, explaining and, and analyzing those. So that should be enough for you to at least get an eight. If you're hoping for a nine or 10, you want to achieve mastery on this mastery challenge, then you can dig a little deeper, do some textbook reading right there, read a couple of these articles, watch this additional video on German immigration. Uh, but if you do all of this, that should be enough to get you proficient at a grade of eight, 80% grade, uh, but definitely feel free to dig deeper. Another thing that's gonna help you if you're really shooting for that A or A plus is to uh, pay careful attention to the anti-immigration cartoons because that's what's gonna raise your grade. Uh, being able to analyze those political cartoons and what they mean, that's gonna be able to push you over the top as well. Hope that helped, have a great day, take care, bye-bye.